Next question is from Andrew Eberl 21. What are the best mobility exercises for low bar squats? Oh, good low bar Ooh. squats. Now, yeah. it's the, I guess the question favorite. I would have here is, um, is, is the question because the low bar squats, the bar is so low on your back, so, so, so low, shoulder, so shoulder mobility, so shoulder is, mobility is what I'm looking for, mm. or we're talking about squats. And so are they asking that because the squat depth they're lacking? And so that totally changes yeah. my direction. Well, let's look at the difference between a low bar and a high bar squat. Mm -hmm. High bar squat, you're going to be more upright. You're probably going to need more ankle mobility, right? Because your knees are going to travel forward a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Low bar squat, you're going to get more forward bend, yep. less ankle mobility, but probably more hip I would imagine stability uh, and strength, and then up, and then of course thoracic, right? And that upper back area is what I would, what you typically would see with somebody that you'd have to work on. I I think the biggest issue is what you guys said was the shoulder mobility, that that uh -huh. shoulder and thoracic kind of mobility to yeah. be able to support a bar way down on that part of your back and hold it with good chest out type of posture because a lot yeah. of people aren't able to do that. So good exercise for that. I like uh, the the wall test wall that test, we have in zone one. Yeah, zone one and prime. Is I love, um, and I, th I think I shared this on my story a, a couple of months ago, and I've just really been incorporating it in the last year, our uh, suspension trainer W's. Yep. I that love that as to prime for exactly that. Because literally think about where you're trying to, the, the actual movement of getting me, me getting into the bar, under the bar for a low bar squat. This is what it looks like, right? Yeah. And then we're wedging it down below. Like literally that is, the W. You yeah, are waking yeah. up all those muscles. That's why that I do face pulls as well. Yeah, yeah face pulls, W's on the suspension trainer. Um, those. Have been, I mean, I, I used to do zone one. So zone one was like my go to. Mm -hmm. Go to zone one. Work on that intrinsically. The reason why I think I like W. It's easier to get somebody to do a W than get them to cue the zone one. So if you don't own Prime it's harder for us to think to explain on a podcast like exactly what zone one is and mm -hmm. how to do it to get the benefits. Where if you go YouTube or Google search what a, a suspension trainer W is, mm -hmm. um, you could do it and emulate it. And I think you'll get tremendous benefit from yeah, that. Yeah, uh, prone Cobra Cobras, can kind of work. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. work on that uh, on that area well. And then hip mobility, right? So, you know, what, what kind of things are good for hip mobility? Um, you know, 9090 is always a great movement for that. Tube walking, you know, lateral tube walking can help a little bit with that stability that you might need for a low bar squat. Generally speaking, I'd say people tend to run into mobility issues more with a high bar squat though, in, in my experience. Oh yeah. You know, I, you see more issues with ankle mobility than you will. With well, ankle and the, just the high bar squats, is taking me a long time to get to where I could actually do one really, really good. You have to have really good depth in order to, to be able to sit upright yeah, and keep that yeah. bar up really high. And if you're taller and longer, it's even harder. The longer the lever like that. So I had to low bar squat for a long time to get to hit depth uh, because I, I had to let my body fold over mm -hmm. a little bit because I didn't have the ankle mobility and, and shoulder mobility. In, in order yeah. to do Olympic it. lifters are probably your best example of high bar. Oh, squats. yeah. That's yeah, where you're going to see the best. They're nice and upright with that. I, I think, too, if you want to cover all the bases, you know, with wrists, elbows, and shoulders, you do that's our handcuffs for rotation. Uh, and that's just one of those that, like, it just it places uh, you in such a good uh, position and really articulates each one of those joints because those are all you know essential in getting into that position lower on your back. Like you have to get everything in a nice you know functional position for that.